Welcome to a very windy Bedford Autodrome for a very special Evo track battle, where I find out which is quickest, the stunning new V6S Jaguar F-Type or the Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. There's probably no better benchmark than a Porsche 911. 3.4 litre, famous flat six boxster engine hung out the back. A beautiful manual gearbox. A steering wheel with no buttons on it at all. A steering wheel that just does steering. And a chassis to just play with. But it's a car that will just always bring joy. <laughs> to my face as you can flick it this way and that way and hold it in a power slide. Oh, and hear those revs wailing up to 7,800 revs. And again, at what, 80 miles an hour, we're just screamingly sideways. This is gonna be a hard task for the Jaguar to beat if we're just judging on fun alone. That's me doing that blip, that's me. That's me slipping it sideways. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 we got a control. The smiles have settled down to some neat lappery. With a little bit of a drift, of course. Start the clock now. Right, tapping. Brake plates, brake brakes. Snatch it down to second gear. Don't go too mad on the power to get the traction out of the corner. Briefly up into third. Dive across the road. Just a little blip of the throttle, keep it neat, Tiff, keep it neat. There, to bring in 345 horsepower, early shift. Get the grip, flip it right. Easy then. Smooth now. Through this tricky complex now, right and left. This is where you can get the back to swing out too much. But then if you don't get the power in, you can get a bit of understeer as well. the power, flip it up to third, turning in what, 75 miles an hour, I just love the fact that you've got this great big rev counter straight ahead of you, as we come to stop the clock, now. So the Porsche 911 Cabriolet sets the pace with an impressive time of 1 minute 23.9 seconds. The question is, can the Jaguar beat it? First ever drive in a Jaguar F-Type. Now I've got a, an extra 30 horsepower from this three litre supercharged V6, but I've also got an extra 165 kilograms to carry. And when it comes to cornering, accelerating and braking, that weight is gonna count quite a bit against this F-Type. We'll, we'll forget about that and get on with enjoying what straight away feels like a pretty frisky and fun chassis. Overcorrected myself there, Tim. The panels are right where I want my fingers to be. This seems to be a Jaguar trait. And again, it's just something that niggles me. Here we are, a nice little hairpin. Let's see what it feels like. A little bit of understeer. Whoa, that swaps to a bit of oversteer. Whoa, fighter. Maybe not quite as good steering feel as I had in the Porsche, but certainly. Whoa, just as much fun. Let's go for a time. Keep it on a little bit of mild understeer. Start the clock now. 
down to the hairpin in fifth gear from 100 miles an hour. Brakes not really quite as good as the Porsche. It's good pedal feel though, I like the feel. Instantly changes up as the revs rise. 6,000 revs up to the chicane. Go on, change that, please. Change the direction from right to left, good, but then just a bit, a bit too much oversteer there for getting the power down onto the back straight. 110 miles an hour, heavy braking into the chicane. Don't get too wild, Tiff. Oh. Good, we held it, we held it. Okay, good so far. Now this right left at the chassis was a bit upset with last time. Got to keep it a little bit neat and tidy, progressively on the throttle. That's good, that's good, that's good. Out onto the back straight. One chicane and the two fast corners to go. Again, I can feel the weight of the car under braking, that extra 200 kilograms nearly. A big fast left hand and a go. 80 miles an hour. Keep it neat, Tiff. Keep it neat. Good. Up to 90. A gentle tad on the brakes. The last corner. Keep a little bit of understeer. Keeps the traction in. Stop the clock. Nah. And the V6 F Type blasts across the line in 1 minute 27.2 seconds. Meaning that for all the drama, it's a whopping three seconds slower over the lap than the Porsche was. While the new F-Type might look the part, there's no way it's ever going to match the 911 as an agile track-honed sprinter. Its automatic gearbox and excess weight make sure of that.